here to show you how to do a two proportion Z test and I decided to take on uh, the 2004 AP exam on question number six and I'm just going to do at least part A for you to show, demonstrate how to complete this test. Uh, just to give you a brief summary of the question, it said that they went to Island A and they got a whole bunch of birds, I think they said 200 birds or so, they tagged them, it's a wildlife study, they tagged the birds and then they released them to, to the island and they did the same thing with Island B, the scientists captured, I think it said 250 birds, released them and then a while later they went back to these islands and recaptured the birds and as they recaptured them they took note of what, uh, how many of them actually had tags on them still. So we had um, on a recapture, on revisiting the islands, we had 180 uh, birds captured the second time in Island A and only 12 of those had tags on compared to Island B where they captured more birds and they got more with tags. Now these two percentages as they stand right here are not equal to each other. 12 divided by 180 does not equal 35 divided by 220. Uh, question A on the, on the test actually says on the exam, it says, do the data from the subsequent samples indicate that there's a difference in the proportion of banded birds on these two islands? So overall banded birds, not just the ones coming from the sample. So we know that the sample statistics, the sample proportions are different. The question in A is to um, provide statistical evidence to show that the overall percentage of birds that are banded are different or are they the same. So to tackle that we need four steps. And the first step is to write out our hypothesis statements. And remember that the AP exam is looking for complete statements. In other words, just writing that the proportions are equal to each other and the proportions are not equal to each other is not enough to get full credit. I mean, think about too, you're, you're a statistician, you want to communicate things to people who are reading your, your results and all your, of all your findings, you want to actually spell things out so people know exactly what you're talking about. So actually here in words you have to actually write out the proportion of tagged birds on island A is equal to the proportion of tagged birds And over here you'd make note that they are not the same. And that would be your alternative hypothesis. The second step is going to get us a little busy uh, making sure that we're doing a complete test. On the second step we're going to have to name the, name the significance level. And we'll say maybe 1% or 5%. The choice is up to you in this question. We have to name the test that we're going to be doing and check the conditions. Well, it's a, it's a two proportion Z test, it says it on the board. We're going to do a two proportion Z test. And by the way, it's going to be two sided because it's a not equals in the alternative hypothesis statement. Uh, we have to check these conditions too. Um, one reason why it's two proportion Z test is that the two collections of birds are independent from each other. So we have to make sure we include that, that they're independent samples. Well, we also have to include the fact that they are simple random. Is it a simple random? Are they simple random samples of birds? It said in the reading that you can assume that they are. Um, also assuming that we're coming from a large population of birds, um, 180 is less than 10% of all the birds of that variety on Island A. And also we're, we're going to assume that 220 birds is less than 10% of all birds on Island B. As long as these birds aren't going extinct, we know that we've got sample size that's small enough to begin. The last question is, are this, is the sample size large enough to begin? And you can take a look at these counts here. The counts with tags and untagged are all going to be greater than 10. And that's what we're looking for for the last part of our, of our condition checks. So we've got a bunch of yeses all over the place here. 
seems like it's all systems go. Officially writing out the last thing that I said, we get 12 tag birds in island A, and that's greater than 10 or equal to 10. So that's a good size sample. Um, we have 168 untagged, which is also greater than or equal to 10. I like using the word yes on these condition checks instead of a check mark. Just makes it seem to the grader that you're actually officially saying yes instead of just putting a little, a little check next to it. Um, and then writing out the other one too. There's 35 tagged. And then we have um, 185 untagged. So it's okay to go on to the next step.